Welcome everyone, here is how you use Color Widgets in iOS 16. So let's open up the Color Widgets app. From here, you're going to see continue, just tap on this one. And now it's going to ask you to select your first widget. So for the sake of this, I'm going to tap on skip. And I'm going to go through all of this, okay. So we can actually be brought to the app itself. So you can see try pro, we don't need pro, so just tap on the X for this one. And so with color widgets, we can create home screen widgets and lock screen widgets. So you have this default widget here. You slide to the left, you can create a new one. So I'm just gonna tap on this widget like so, and I'll give the customization options for this widget. You'll also be able to see the size for each one here. You have all these options to play around with. But I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go to plus. And then you have this instruction manual, which, you know, I mean, you're watching this video, so you won't need that one. And then once you have created a new widget, just tap on it. And let's get to editing. So we can change the background here. If you want the background to be a photo, you just tap on add photo. You can also change the theme as well. I'll use black. You can change the font here. So right now it has this calendar date and time. If you want it to be a photo, just tap on add photo. You can change the border color here as well and the border size. I think having a border with just one is nice. You can show or hide the battery. So I'm gonna add a photo for this video. So let's choose this one. You may, you may have to crop it and select choose. So you can see, oh, oh, oh. but uh, yeah, you can see all the different sizes here. I actually laughed at that. Maybe it's concerning, maybe it's not. You can also add a photo album. So if you tap on add photos, you can add multiple and those will, you know, change over time. Okay. But for this, I'm not happy with the white. Uh, I'm going to select the yellow looks pretty good and we'll use a red border color. So once you are happy, you just select set to widget. And I'm just going to replace the widget too. So that's what we were replacing before. And there we go. Now for the lock screen, you're going to see the plus here, create a new one. So we'll edit this one by tapping onto it. And you don't have as much customization, but you can change the style. Obviously, you have all these different styles here. Uh, let's just select here, subscribe, change the font. And you can also change how the background is with this. You can also add symbols. And then we also have the style here, which I covered earlier. Not much customization available, unfortunately, but it is what it is, that's a lock screen for you. So we'll tap on set widget and I'll replace the second one. Okay, when it does come to the home screen widget, you can see all these other widgets you can play around with. All right, so you just tap into it and then have some fun for the home screen. And then obviously you have the lock screen ones here. So this is kind of like an app store, but for widgets. And you also have these icons here these icon packs i wouldn't recommend you touch because what it does is it opens up safari and then opens up the app it, it, you don't want to do it because then in the multitasking you also have it, just don't touch okay so when we want to add widgets you're going to go to the home screen i'll cover the lock screen in a bit long press on the empty space tap on the plus and so we're going to search for color widgets tap on this Select the size, so we're gonna use, we like big. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but uh, I'm not going to. By default, it's gonna use the first color widget you created. So if you wanna switch which one, just long press, then find edit widget, and you see widget, and then you can change between the widgets, okay? So now we have my lovely face here. 50 likes and I'll shave. <laughs> now let's go to the lock screen. In order to add widgets to the lock screen, you long press on the empty space. 
wants me to unlock my phone. So I'll unlock and then go back to the lock screen. So long press, and then we'll tap on customize. So keep in mind, if you have the time going behind the background, that will be removed when you add the widgets, okay? So you just tap on the widgets area here. Let's tap on the minus for those. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you see color widgets. And then you select the style. So you can tap or you can drag and drop. So you can see it selected the widget here. Well, again, if you created multiple, just tap once, tap again, and then you can switch between the widgets just like this. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.